Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. Just finished building your dream gaming PC, but there's only one problem. You don't have Windows installed. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install Windows and all the drivers that you might need after. So there's a couple of things I need to talk about before we get into it. First, you have to decide whether you are gonna need Windows 10 or 11. The rule of thumb that we like to use is for Intel, for example, if it is 12th gen or higher, we usually like to install Windows 11. Next, let's talk about what you are going to need. Need. You are going to need a USB with at least 8 gigs of storage. You will also need a Windows activation key, which you can buy at any of these places. If you want to make this whole step easier, PC Bros actually sells USBs with Windows and the activation key already on it for $30. That's pretty much about the price that you were going to have to do it yourself anyway, so it's a good option out there if you want to make this quick and easy. Once you have your boot device, we are going to a laptop or another PC not the one that you've built, one that already has Windows on it. So we can go on the internet, so we can download the Windows boot software to one of those USBs. To get Windows 10 on your boot device USB, you wanna make sure you plug in the USB into the PC before we start downloading. And we are going to type in Windows 10 download, which will be the first search. We are going to go to create Windows 10 installation media, download now. Once you've opened the application and got to this screen, click create installation media and then hit next. We wanna make sure it's 64 bit Windows 10. Yep, that's all good, click next. And you wanna do USB flash drive. It needs at least eight gigs. So this is where you select the flash drive that you want to do. I do not have one for this example. I'm just showing you how to get to that point. So once you click the one that you do want to install to, click next, and then it will download it. If you wanna download Windows 10, you go to Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, click that first link, and it will be basically the same process as Windows 10. We have our subject PC here, which I need to install Windows on. Everything's already plugged up, but I did not turn the PC on. We wanna make sure we plug in the boot device before we turn the PC on, and then we need to go into the BIOS. I'll show you how to do that here. Plug in your USB that you have Windows on. Pretty much any port will do. Make sure the PC's on. Now, once you hit the on button, you want to spam the delete button or F12. These are the buttons that will get you into the BIOS. Sometimes it's F2. Most of the time it's delete though. All right, cool. So now we are in the BIOS. I'm gonna show you what to do next. All right, so this is the ASRock BIOS. All the BIOSes will pretty much be the same. They might be formatted a little bit differently. For the most part, you're gonna need to go to the same things. So look for advanced mode. It might not be F6 for you. And then that will take you to a screen, a different screen here. And what we're looking for is something called boot. And most motherboards will have the boot options laid out. Here it's saying that the Windows Boot Manager is the first option to boot up. So this is not the USB. If we turn on the PC now, it would just boot into the Boot Manager and it wouldn't boot into what we want, which is the Windows installation on here. So what we're going to do is click on this first option and then click on USB, it'll usually say partition or USB, something like that. So now this is the first option. We're going to click exit and save changes in exit. And now this will boot into that USB. And this is a good sign. This is the screen you want to see. This is the Windows setup menu. Don't need to click anything on here. Just click next, install now. We're going to go to Windows 10 Pro, accept, next. And from here, we want to do custom install. Windows only. And here, because this was not a brand new PC, we have extra partitions. That means there is stuff on these drives right now. I'm going to delete these. This might not be a step that applies to you. So I'm just gonna delete these. This, we don't need anything on this right now. So right now this has a 500 gigabyte SSD. That is the only option that we have. So I'm just gonna click next. And it is installing Windows now. This will be the longest part. Once all this is done, you should be booted into the Windows desktop. And then from there, I can show you how to activate Windows and do drivers. Make sure once Windows is installed, you unplug the boot device so it doesn't try to boot through this again because we've set it in the BIOS to do so. All right, we are now in the desktop and our next step would be to make sure we have the right Windows. So I'm going to type in activation settings in the search bar and it says we have Windows 10 Pro, but it is not activated, which we're not even connected to the internet now because we don't have that driver yet. All right, so here is something to look out for certain motherboards. The ethernet driver is not pre-installed. So as you see, the ethernet is plugged in, but we do not have connection. 
So what we're going to need to do is have a Bluetooth adapter so we can get on the internet, download the drivers, and then activate Windows. So I'm just going to plug this in and get onto Wi-Fi real quick, and then I'll show you how to do the drivers. Once connected to the internet, go down to the search bar and type in activation settings. This will get us activated to Windows. As you can see right now, yours should say, we can't activate Windows on this device because you do not have a valid digital product key. So you have a product key now from one of the places that I mentioned earlier in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug mine in, get Windows activated, then we move on to the drivers. Once you have activated Windows, it should say it right here. That means you're good to move on to the next step. We're going to go to Device Manager on the bottom left here to type in Device Manager. This is a, all the drivers that we needed to get to make sure the motherboard and everything's working correctly. To do this, we are going to go on the internet, type in the motherboard that we have, and then type in drivers after it. This should take us to that motherboard's website where they will have the drivers for us to download. Usually it is under support and then download, and then it will have a list of drivers. Just make sure you click the right windows that you have. Once you get to this long list, you won't exactly need every single one of these, just some specific ones. Here's a list of the drivers that most of the time will download all the drivers that we need and get rid of those things that we saw in device manager. Starting with INF, you wanna make sure you're downloading the global. Once it's downloaded, you will just click the zip file. Keep on clicking until you see set up chipset or something that says type application. Chipset is going to be one of the main things that you want downloaded that should get rid of a lot of those things. So I like to keep device manager up while I'm doing it. That looks like it got rid of most of them. Now I'd recommend restarting now too. Now we're back and we have two more things to get rid of in device manager here. So we already downloaded this one and we need to make sure we download the ethernet controller so we can finally get on the ethernet. So I'm gonna download the Intel LAN driver and again, click on it until you get to the application to run, run the application and finish. Let's see if that did it. Awesome, looks like we can get back on the internet now. Once you see this icon, that means that you are on ethernet and not Wi-Fi. So you're good to unplug the Bluetooth if you had it. We just have this final pesky driver to download here. Because this might be a little bit different for you, as long as you download the list of drivers that I showed before, that should get rid of pretty much all of the problems that you might have. So I'm gonna go through here and make sure I download all those myself. I have a feeling this one might do it. It did indeed do it. We are clear. We are completely clear in device manager now, and that means we have all the drivers installed. We have Windows activated, and all that we have left to do is download the GPU drivers. So you basically have two options of GPU drivers here, whether you have an AMD GPU or uh, NVIDIA. So I have an AMD one. I'm just going to go to that first link and then we will see a drop down or a list here of GPUs. You just click the one that you have. Mine is 6600. And then you submit, make sure you download it for the right windows. And this process will be the exact same for NVIDIA as well. It'll just look a little bit different. So basically you're either going to get AMD software adrenaline edition, or you're going to go get the NVIDIA experience. It's not even detecting the GPU right now. So right when we install these drivers, we can see the GPU and it'll detect it. You will probably need to restart too after installing this one. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions or specific issues you are having, just let us know in the comments. We do know that there are some curveballs out there that can be kind of annoying if you don't know how to deal with them. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.